Hi friends, I have the honor and pleasure of having with me Dr. Sohini Chakraborty. She has scored very well in this NEET exam. Her score is 820 and I'm sure, you, you know, sir. you know, she is going to do very well in her future life. I want to begin by congratulating her on behalf of my entire DAMS team, especially from my DAMS Kolkata team. Thank you. They are all very proud of you and they are all looking forward to hear from hearing from you. How are you feeling today? Totally ecstatic what I can say and like, yes, I have doubts regarding my rank, but still I am happy. Yeah, that that is okay. I am sure that it would that you know it would continue. But in the end, it what matters is you should get into your branch of your choice. That that is what I yeah. would say is the most important thing. So you joined us for your regular course in Kolkata. Yeah. So how was your experience in the regular classroom program? Regular classroom, like it started after my internship around March. So yeah, it was totally amazing. Like every day. Uh, like Saturday, Sunday, we had weekend classes. So I used to keep waiting for the classes. So definitely I tried to cover the CRS before the classes so that I, I had an idea about the subject. And uh, yeah, it was totally amazing. Like we were never taught that way back in college. Like the way we came to dams and the teachers taught us, it was totally amazing. Yeah. So uh, any particular teacher that comes to your mind and you want to talk about today because of you know, because what I feel is that that student-teacher relationship that needs to be formed and that is what our, you know, kind of motto as well that we want to connect to every student. So, any particular teacher that you remember today want to mm -hmm. mention? Obviously, Deepti ma'am, <laughs> Sumer sir, you, yeah, and Arvind sir, yeah. Medicine was always my favorite subject, still my favorite subject. I really want to take up medicine. So, yeah, these subjects were brilliantly covered there was nothing left I, th I don't think I needed to go back and look into any other book other than the notes and this year I want to tell you a secret that I have not, not even announced to anybody else that this year by Dr. Arvind we are starting um, for regular course a monthly satellite based lecture in which he will uh, teach one section of Harrison and uh, so it will be w every month Harrison based uh, one section especially the general medicine part and the fever and the kind of things that we miss otherwise so we are adding that part. So I'm I'm sure you know the, the future Damsonian will benefit from that. Uh, uh, Dr. Arvind's uh, immense knowledge and his way of delivery is actually very unique. Yeah, yes. he was amazing, totally. I so really like fell in more in love with the subject after his classes. So by listening to you, I have a doubt that you want to take medicine later on. Yeah. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. Okay. I've, I've seen that you know people who want to take medicine, they particularly admire Dr. Arvind's because that is what you know, they, I, you actually kind of idolize that this is the kind of mindset you want to build up. So any, how was your approach in the classes? My like classes. You uh, you told me that you uh, yeah, read CRS yeah. before. Then you came into yeah, the class. Then uh, you were actively involved in the class. I was answering totally to everything yeah, the teacher asked. I was asked. totally actively involved. I even came up with a lot of doubts actually because it was not possible for every doubt to be solved by myself. So yeah, I had a lot of doubts. And then when I went back home and gave my exams, then again I had like 50 more doubts. So like totally, this one year I think. I had like a one copy which I kept, which was like filled with my doubts questions. So I made sure that I did not do any mistake from those questions. And how did you utilize the testing platform that we have? Like, uh, wh what was your so you started with CRS yeah. class in the end in, in, in doubts in the class, then you asked the teacher, yeah, yeah, then yeah. Uh, doubts after the class. Did you utilize the Facebook group to yeah, discuss? Yeah, utilize the Facebook group, but yeah. I would like. I even personally texted the teachers, okay. like it was not always possible to like... Publicly ask. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so how was your experience with the teachers and it their doubt solving? Yeah, and and like within minutes they would answer, it was pretty fast and like I had accumulated huge doubts. So yeah. I think like a lot of questions even came this time from that. Did you, did you you know feel that you know uh, feel inspired that the teachers despite their busy schedule yeah. are able to answer back? I was totally inspired and that again gave me a boost to keep working to find out more doubts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I am sure you know her strategy is very unique and I want you know everybody to learn that's why I am actually taking out uh, you know things from her that she is did CRS before the class unlike you know many people would do it after the class she did it before. So she came to the class wiser 
and she already knew what she wanted to ask the teacher yeah. so when the teachers and some of the doubts would be covered even in the even class in itself the class, yeah. so Mostly. after then uh, there would be few questions yeah. and then uh, after that again she had doubts but she kept on asking till the time she got that yeah. control over each subject totally and uh, so once you feel in control over the subjects by the end of the year your scores are good that is what i feel and if you are you know feeling that you know i don't have control over this subject or that subject your ranks will not be not that improve. good yeah so then uh, how did you use testing after that uh first i went back home and first obviously i tried the subject wise tests but then i realized that grand tests are pretty much more important because yes. giving one subject test will give you a mastery over that subject but if you have to be a master of 19 subjects you need your grand tests and you have to be a master of 19 subjects on the day of the exam yeah totally yeah. otherwise there's no way out so did you utilize the grand test solutions and the solution videos yeah. that we give i think the solution videos were pretty helpful because when i went back through the solution papers it was like very monotonous but the videos were like when one question was been asked about like the teacher who was going through that a lot of different points also came out and each point was a different question if not in neat yes in jipmar a lot of it was covered i personally feel yeah uh, this year we had a very good strike rate in jipmar exam yeah. I, i also feel that and uh, so i'm very proud of it <laughs> as well and this year what i have understood is that the correct uh, you know way of learning is uh, for a competitive exam is a blended learning and uh, this is my philosophy that it is blended means there has to be a blend of classroom teaching self study yeah. study material and there has to be a blended learning with videos as well so that is where that those grand test videos fill in and those mop up videos yeah. that we did on e medicos app mm -hmm. they fill in and this year we have introduced that even swts will have videos for next year students and even the crs would have a video companion because i feel we have to blend it all to make sure that the students can utilize them uh, to um, you know because as a student you have some uh, lacuna here and yeah. there and you want to fill them all up by the time you reach the exam that is our you know philosophy did you utilize the cbt exams that we conducted all over india in the simulated environment of the exam yeah cbt one i think was before aims yeah yes. if i remember it was jip more yeah it was very helpful like many questions especially i would like to say patho patho was brilliant even pharma the new drugs and all yeah. so it was amazing like yeah many questions were from the dvt itself conducted i think just after the durga puja yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah it was brilliant and cbt 1 cbt 2 which was more of a neat kind approach like cbt 1 was more of aims and jipmar type so both were unique in their own ways and there were many questions common in neat which we are seeing and even Jip, for jipmar it was pretty helpful and uh, did you in, uh, will you be able to you know share your ranks from the cbt to people and like yeah, what was CB your rank in the uh, cbt1 cbt1 my rank was 64 and cbt2 it was 25 so you improved in between the two cbts you yeah, uh, added a revision yeah i think just by few <laughs> ranks i improved yeah. not much yeah. still i think like so scoring a top 100 in a exam like that does that add to confidence yeah totally totally and now uh, you know few words about your dvt experience like uh, that was around uh, a very important time in kolkata yeah. so uh, how how did you manage that and did you enjoy those hours of teaching yeah dvt for three days actually in kolkata we had just after the durga puja while yeah. in other centers i think yeah, we were I having know. during the puja yeah. so yeah no delay it was amazing like i would say the three days were the best even better than my puja days because during the puja this time mostly i was in home studying but those three days were amazing and each session was like i never felt tired in between that 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 is what i can say any you know particular you know branch that you are looking to join uh, later on any anything have you thought of yeah i always wanted to take up general medicine yeah. like there hasn't been a second subject in mind Yeah. Like so I'm sure you should be able to get general medicine in a very good I college I at your school. So, yeah. And I am I wish you all the best from our entire dams team Thank and you, especially my Kolkata team they are very happy to see you here and they are very happy for the you know uh, you know the time spent together in those time and I I find my Kolkata center the entire staff is also very uh, you yeah. know helpful they keep trying to work out in between you know uh, there are you know some you know discussions <laughs> and all but they, they 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 do their best I'm sure Obviously. they do their best and 
and anything that you want to t i have like final two questions for you now anything that you want to tell people about neat pg exam experience that what was that exam all about because this is the first time they have in the last 4 5 years they yeah. have done a single set exam with negative marking how, how would you describe that exam to future aspirants actually during neat pg the problem i faced was like i did not get a home center i had to travel like a lot of really far place for my exam that to like 7:30 in the morning mm -hmm. but it's all okay if you are if you have control over your so 19 subjects i don't think anything can stop you not even an earthquake <laughs> so yeah. basically i would say that neat based questions are pretty easy concept best like obviously if you have given appeared for aims chipmore pgi nothing can really stop you it will be bread and butter for you but obviously what you have to see many people after aims and chipmore they go into a sort of <laughs> isolation mode like they do not i think revise so much but i would suggest if you really want to crack all exams in a row you really have to have the subjects like totally at your sleeves like you cannot be out of revision that is what i would suggest so what i have learned from you is that like uh, what she's trying to say here is that look at january as a target where you have need some people when they don't do so well yeah. in mid in the central exams in the november they suddenly they go into a shell yeah, and they stop yeah. revising but you have to keep the momentum yeah, going till the most important up. exam that yeah. is need where you have the maximum number of seats as well so mm -hmm. that is her strategy and mantra that she kept consistent consistent approach uh, final line from you to motivate other future aspirants I think like everyone will come up with a different line but I think like you should work for yourself it doesn't matter like on that day nothing else will matter you have to give your 200 percent not 100 percent and attempt maximum number of questions you cannot be like like a defensive stance you have to be very aggressive because questions are very simple and you cannot just back up and say no I will not go to it so you have to like have a target reach at least 290 questions would be all right so her idea is don't be so bogged down by negative marking and i'm sure you have heard other anchors as well talking about the same thing that don't be so bogged down by negative marking be aggressive in your attempting and uh, strive to give to 100% if mm -hmm. you want superlative success you have to give more than 100% yeah. and she says give more than 200% so if you are working 10 hours a day strive to do 20 hours even if you know you are not able to do it but at least strive to try. do strive and do try to do more than what you are capable do yeah. 200% of that is her final motivating line I wish her all the best. I'm sure the country will have a great physician ahead in you and I'm Thank sure you, that you will do very well in life. God bless you. Thank you.